Gaza is one of the most densely populated areas in the world. Look at this chart. Every white dot on it represents a built-up part of the district, so you can see the density. More than 2 million people living in an area of just 145 square miles. Compare that to London, for example, you get a sense of the scale that we're talking about. And those 2 million people are already being displaced. This map shows the proportion of people who've moved out of their homes into shelters run by the UN. If you look over here, up in the north of Gaza, it is as high as 15% of the population. And this shows shows just how many people have been displaced in total. Up from 3,000 before the start of the war, all the way jumping to 250,000, more than 250,000 today, an eighth of the population. And living conditions were already very difficult. This chart is about electricity in Gaza. So at the bottom in the blue, you have the power that Israel was supplying before the war. Above that, that's what was produced in Gaza by its sole power plant. And then all the rest above that is unmet demand. That's everything that wasn't being powered. On average, before the war, Gaza got just 13 hours of electricity per day. And now, with its last power station out of fuel, well, it has nothing. Amid airstrikes in her neighbourhood, influencer and student Salma Sharab told Sky News about just how desperate the situation is. No shelters, water is gone, no internet, no electricity, no fuel, literally nothing. Hopefully we'll survive this time, but I doubt it. More than half the population also rely on food assistance from the UN, and this shows how much harder it's got. It shows the proportion of those recipients who have to borrow money from relatives or friends or borrow food. At the start of the year, it was just 18%. That's gone up to 73% by June. And even more vital than food is water. On the evening of the 8th of October, Israeli authorities cut off the water supply to Gaza through three connection points. And that affected over 610,000 people in Gaza. It will exacerbate an already severe shortage in drinking water. And finally, this is what Gaza looked like from the satellite view before the weekend's attacks. This neighbourhood to the north is now unrecognisable to what it was before. And that's before any ground troops have moved in. It is probably going to get much worse.